Hello and once again welcome to Let's Explore. My name is Steve and this of course is the very famous these days Nosy Nev and this evening me and Nosy Nev are going in search of Gopsal Temple. Come on let's go and have a nosy. Alrighty then, so courtesy of Google Earth, we can look at today's exploration from very high up in the sky. And of course, as per usual these days, where the uh, red arrow is pointing there, that is pretty much pointing at uh, the site of the former Gopsall Hall in Leicestershire. Right then, so what do we actually know about the former Gopsall Hall? Well, the clue's in the word in there, isn't it? The former hall, because it no longer stands there sadly anymore. There's actually a farm in its place these days, Gopsall Hall Farm. But the hall itself was actually constructed in around about 1750 at a cost apparently of around about £100,000 back then. Now, that is, that is the equivalent of eight and a half million quid this day and age. Shouldn't mind a, a percentage of that. Do you know what I'm saying? That'd be nice, wouldn't it? I could probably make these videos all the while then instead of going to work on a on a building site but in world war ii uh, the army actually used it as one of their hqs and apparently um they, they caused so much damage there i don't know what they were actually doing at gopsall hall to cause so much damage but they completely decimated it apparently and in 1951 sadly it had to be pulled down so that's unfortunate isn't it Okay then, so courtesy once more to Google Earth, what we're looking at here is an image of where Gopsall Hall used to reside. And of course this day and age in 2021, uh, where the hall used to stand, is now a farm in its place, Gopsall Hall Farm. Now, where that red arrow is pointing, that's actually pointing pretty much at where the temple is that we're about to go and see today, that uh, used to belong to Gopsall Hall. But the hall itself used to be, I think, just to the right of where those farm buildings are there, between the farm buildings and where it says Gopsall. But a very interesting little place this is, and very eerie up there as well, it's got to be said. And courtesy of the National Library of Scotland, what you're looking at now is an Ordnance Survey map dated 1901 of Gopsall Hall and its surrounding parkland. Not all of it's parkland actually, I mean there was around about several hundred acres that this place used to occupy. But as you can see there, the big red arrow is pointing at the temple that we're going to go and have a look at shortly. But just look at how this place has changed, I mean this is all arable farmland now. But uh, back then of course, between the hall and the temple, it was dotted with trees and of course probably hundreds of deer as well that you Used to roam free around here. Brilliant. What I'm stood on now is an actual trackway or former road that used to go in to Gopsall Hall itself and uh, just looks nothing more than a, a farm track these days. But if we pan round, just down there is the village of Shackerston and there's actually a, a lodge there that I couldn't film because somebody actually lives there uh, at this day and age. But yeah, just listen to that as well. Not him snoring and snorting and doing whatever he does best, but just the bird life down here. Stunning. What a beautiful evening. Right, so just before I forget, while there's still some sunlight, um, I've got to give some thanks out to a guy called Paul Gardner, who's got a Facebook group called Hinkley District Past and Present, or HDPP for short. Now, every Wednesday and Saturday night, he hosts a live stream on Hinkley District Past and Present. Now, he contacted me, Paul did, around about seven or eight weeks ago now, some, something like that. And he asked, you know, he said, I quite like your videos, I quite enjoy watching them. Would you mind if I live streamed them every Saturday night? So I said, you know, brilliant, you know, please do it. It'd be an honour, it's just nice to know that people like watching them instead of walking about and everyone thinking it's a daft idea and not taking any notice of the videos, do you know what I'm saying? And uh, so this one is kind of for him and um, his community on Facebook, which I'm part of as well. I'm a member of Hinkley District Past and Present as well. And uh, although we're not in Inkley tonight, we're not too far away. So Paul, thank you very much. And I also sent you a message earlier, mate, asking if I could uh, nick some photographs off you, because I know you've got some of this place. And I'm hoping when, I've, when I get home, you've replied to me with some. So thank you for those, if they've made it onto this video, video as well. Really appreciate it, mate, cheers. 
Right then, so courtesy of Paul, here is one of these fantastic photographs that he sent me over last night. And uh, he's a good lad, and he's sending those photos over for me. It's brilliant, you know, when people get involved in this kind of thing. But we all love local history, don't we? And uh, Paul is no different to me, he loves it as well. And what you're looking at here is the gatehouse at the Shackerston end. And uh, just behind the gate there, uh, you can see the gatehouse, uh, or lodge, or whatever you want to call it, just behind what looks like a conifer. Now, that cottage or lodge is actually still there this day and age but of course it's uh, a private dwelling these days and I didn't want to go up there taking photos of it uh, last night when I was making the video that wouldn't have been right would it to be honest people are trying to watch Coronation Street and there's me uh, snapping the hell out of the place with my camera so uh, but here's a good enough photograph anyway and of course a couple of clips back I was actually filming on that old coach road that used to go to the hall very good so up and around the temple is this beautiful woodland and it's actually known as the race course this is and I never really thought about it before. I saw it on a map, on a modern day map a while back that it was called the race course. Never thought much of it. Then a few weeks ago I was actually looking something up to do with Gopsall Hall and they literally used to race motor cars around here in the 1920s and 30s which I was very surprised about. Now of course that doesn't mean to say there was tarmac down and Lewis Hamilton's great grand I'd used to come flying about, gallivanting about in here in his old Austin Metro or whatever, you know. But yeah, they did have um, race cars in here back in the day. So I thought that was very interesting. Now, I'm not entirely certain, but this track that I'm actually standing on now, I think is part of uh, the former race course up here when they used to, you know, race motor cars around here back in the 1920s and 30s. It's incredible to think that now, isn't it? You know, but... Uh, I'll move out of the way just in case anything decides to come bombing round the corner. Do you know what I'm saying? Ooh. What's that over there then? I'll tell you what that is. Just there. That is Gopsall Hall Temple. Let's go and have a nosy, come on. Right then, so here you have it, Gopsall Hall Temple. What a beautiful old structure. Of course, you know, it's pretty much in ruins now. You've got these beautiful stone pillars here still, of course. But, you know, what's fascinating about this, it's not just the history of it, and, you know, who probably used to sit in here as well, but, you know, I mean, there's some, there's a lot of carvings on here, which is a bit naughty. I won't be uh, adding mine to it. But um, I've just seen some round there. I can't remember where they are now, but some of them are from like the 1930s. In fact, there's one down here. That actually says 1943, I think that says. And you know, it's quite interesting because we know that the army were stationed over here at the hall before it was knocked down. So maybe um, soldiers in training, I mean, I don't know if training went off here. I couldn't tell you, I've not looked into it that deep, but maybe um, you know, privates used to come up here and carve the names into these pillars, but yeah, absolutely extraordinary. And again, what a stunning, stunning evening. Epic sunset over there. It's very hard to see it on here. Stunning. Right then, so because I'm a little bit daft and uh, because I've got a, an A-level in rabbiting on for England, <laughs> we've talked a bit about Gopsall Hall and the race course and, and the temple, but I've not really said a lot about the chap that built it. Now, courtesy of Wikipedia, we can look at that said chap, and uh, this is Charles Jennings, of course, who was born at Gopsall Hall in the year 1700 and died in 1773. Now, I know what you're thinking to yourself. You're thinking, wall back, wall back, Steve, just a little bit. 
bit. You told us earlier on in the video that Gopsall Hall was built in 1750 thereabouts. Well, it was, and I think there must have been an earlier structure, like I say. I looked it up on uh, the old internet, and it said that he was born at Gopsall Hall, but when his dad died around about 1747, 1750, something like that, uh, old Charles here decided to uh, have it completely rebuilt, like I said earlier, for 100,000 quid, uh, eight and a half million quid in today's money. That'd be nice, wouldn't it, to have that sort of cash lying about? Beautiful. I could think of a few things I could do with that. Get a good camera for a start, a new camera. Uh, but um, there was quite a lot more to this uh, chap that we're looking at than meets the eye. He was, he was a man of the arts. I think he was a bit of a poet, a bit of a writer, and he loved music. Now, music back then is nothing like it is now. There were no such thing as a take that and Guns and Roses in the 18th century it was proper real intellect music and he was a good friend of a, a famous German composer Charles Jennings was called George Friedrich Handel who composed a very famous composition uh, called called Messiah now it was within the walls or within the columns of uh, the fantastic temple that we're looking at this evening where apparently this very famous composition called Messiah was composed. So what else is really fascinating about this old temple up here that now lies in ruins unfortunately apart from these beautiful stone pillars that uh, encircle me here. Apparently there was a, a very famous composer back in the 1700s called George Friedrich Handel and he actually wrote a very famous composition up here called um, the Messiah and that's incredible and you know it's no surprise that he would have been inspired to write something like that sat in here can you imagine it you know like I say all this here you know it's all arable farmland now but this would have been beautiful picturesque uh, deer parkland back in the day and you know you'd have been overlooking a, a beautiful uh, Georgian building out there you know, Gopsall Hall, it would have been stunning looking there, you know, and I can't imagine you'd get someone like Gary Barlow sat in here in 2021 getting inspired. Do you know what I'm saying? Right then, so starting with this wonderful photograph of Gopsall Hall and its Parkland, which I must say is my favourite photograph of all of them, you're going to see a small selection of photographs now that uh, were sent to me by Paul Gardner. Enjoy. And just before I forget, because I think it's quite an important thing to note here, especially when it comes to this temple anyway, is that, that Charles Jennings had this temple built in memory of his friend, Edward Holsworth, who was a classical scholar. Look at this stunning piece of old stonework here as well. And uh, of course, this would have sat proudly above two of those stone pillars over there. Absolutely stunning. What a great piece of history this place is, eh? Okay, so unfortunately that concludes today's video. Uh, both me and Nev, as you can tell, have really enjoyed this little exploration up here at the fabulous Gopsall Hall Temple. If you enjoyed it, please like, subscribe and share, and I'll see you at the next one. Take care of yourselves. Bye. Say bye-bye. He can't.